When it comes to sports fishing in the Great Lakes, the Chinook salmon is the granddaddy of them all. The big fish is on the top of the food chain in the billion dollar plus boating and tourism industry in Michigan. But state biologists fear the Chinook may be on the verge of a crash. Mine's so small. At the fish ladder today, third grade fingers let go of their finger links. When you put them into the water, don't pour them in, get them right down by the water. For these East Grand Rapids okay. students, it's the end of a months long school project into the reproductive nature of the big lakes, big fish. For the salmon, it's the start of a years long swim to the open water and back. It can be a hard lesson. We talk about it, how you know the survival rates of these is about 10%. So that of these 200 fish, only about 20 of them are actually going to make it back here and, and make it up the fish ladder. The DNR estimates that sports fishing brings in about two and a half billion dollars to the state's economy. Anglers spending money on everything from restaurants to hotels. It's big business for coastal communities here. But the DNR says that the salmon population has dropped 75% from its peak four years ago. And that could start to hurt. Not just talking about stuff that's happening in the water. Obviously, there's a lot tied to it out of the water. Restaurants, hotels. Oh, definitely, definitely. Sports shops, boat manufacturers. Uh, you've, you've got companies right here, uh, sporting goods stores right here in the Grand Rapids area in western Michigan that are dependent upon the big lake to some degree. The salmon simply have nothing to eat. A similar crash happened in Lake Huron last decade, blamed in part on invasive species. The population of Chinooks are dependent upon the alewives. The alewives are dying. They are not reproducing. The goal for educators is to unravel the complexity yeah, of ecology right. and natural resources. The hope is that the next generation can see their role Don't in the environment and the scale of their impact. Those school programs around the state, they're run in conjunction with the local steelheader groups and the DNR. They're funded through 2020. Yeah, it's good to see the kids getting out I there know. and getting involved with the env environment, understanding yeah. a pretty big issue, really, that affects our state. Absolutely. Yeah.